Well, here we are again, folks, wondering what's happening with the IU basketball program. Didn't we just go through this a few years ago? I think we did. And if there's anything we can feel good about is that Indiana does seem to be the center of the basketball world. Whenever something happens here, it makes national news. Now, having said that, at last report, IU had a basketball team meeting. The players walked out and they didn't seem happy. So probably they got the news that Calvin Sampson has been fired. If that didn't happen, forgive me, things are changing rapidly around here. Why did Kelvin Sampson get fired? That's obviously the big question that everyone has. He got in trouble over these phone calls once before. How he could put himself in this position again, I don't know, but here we are. How did this happen? Well, one thing I do want to point out that I've taken notice of is that people want to blame Rick Greenspan, the athletic director. Now, Greenspan has never been hu huggy, touchy-feely with the uh, uh, staff here. Uh, he's pretty much professional. But the other day he was cornered and he said something telling, which was, I'm not the only person that made this decision, you know. So he was immediately blasted by Dick Vitale and Digger Phelps and they said, you're the athletic director and you make these decisions, you take responsibility. It's not that easy, folks. Say if you were somebody like Rick Greenspan and somebody like President Adam Herbert told you that he wanted his fellow Oklahoma man, Kelvin Sampson, to be coach, what would you do? Would you ignore the president or, or just, you know, go ahead and make your own decision? I think that's one issue that's been flying under the radar here, and it's one issue that's really bugged me. Um, I think that the former president did have a big hand in making this decision, and the athletic director had to do what he had to do. And so when the Herald Times tried to contact uh, former President Herbert, he said he didn't have time to talk. When the Indianapolis Star's Bob Kravitz introduced himself and politely tried to ask him a question, he avoided any answer, as if a former university president couldn't craft some sort of diplomatic answer to the question without betraying any investigation. Adam Herbert is currently making $359,000 and 600, so roughly $360,000 to be a prof in the SPIA department, and I don't even know if he teaches a class. Maybe he teaches a class. So the guy's making that much money, he's responsible for bringing this guy in, and somehow he remains above the fray. So, as you have your little arguments about what's happened here, and who's responsible, let's keep in mind that not only Greenspan, but Herbert and the Board of Trustees have a big hand in this, and somehow the trustees and Dr. Herbert have remained above the fray, and they've let the little people take the fall again. So if Samson's gone, good luck, Coach. I don't like the fact that you brought dishonor to the program, but the players seem to love you, and you've done a good job. And I hope whatever happens now, that the administration shows a little bit more foresight in what happens in the future, and we don't wind up with a coach who is not qualified to be coach, which is what happened after we fired the last coach. Bye-bye.